hello guys assalamu alaikum so in today's video we are gonna learn how to create this kind of video animations which are actually gif video animations for your behance project so just to give you a little context there are different types of videos that we upload on behance project the one that is known the most is through embedding the links of uh, your vimeo video for example if you open up your Vimeo, one idea is to upload any video by actually embedding their video links. So for example, if we want to attach this video in our Behance project, we'll have to click this button, which is this share button, and then we'll see for an embed button. And here we can actually directly copy, but we need to customize this link first. So what we'll be doing is we will go to this two options and once this loads up we need to go into the advanced settings and uh, we can tweak a little settings here and after we are satisfied uh, with the link we can just copy it and paste it into our behance project and it will start showing up or displaying on your behance project but the problem is in our behance project the first problem we're gonna see is it will load up after some time and the other problem is we can never get rid of this uh, bottom bar of play button so the other method which is more preferable for behance project specifically is by uploading your gif animations there are lots of ways to do that but uh, we're gonna only rely on uh, adobe creative suite without any involvement of third-party plugins so I'm not gonna actually show how to do animations because I am presuming that you can do it yourself. I'm just going to tell you what are the necessary settings available on Adobe softwares. We're gonna use a combination of three softwares actually, which is Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, and of course, After Effects for animation. So first of all, we're gonna actually create this whole screen inside adobe illustrator you can directly jump into after effects to create this kind of slide but in my workflow i actually uh, started it from illustrator and then we need to actually create all of these assets into individual layers uh, right now this is just one layer and all of the assets are actually included in this single layer so we need to actually click here and we will release the layers to sequence after clicking that as you can see all of these layers are created like a part of sequence but they are still included in one parent layer so what we're gonna do is we'll actually select all of them except the first one and then we will drag it up here and release it and now we can see that all of these layers are now created as individual and standalone layers this setting is necessary because if we don't do this we can never get single assets in after effects for animation we will only create one single layer which is useless if you want to create animations so after doing that we'll only have to save it by pressing ctrl shift s right now i have already created this file by the name ae portfolio so i will only jump directly into after effects and show you the next process so while we are in after effects uh, we can create the animation however the way we want as you can see i have already created this animation inside my after effects project after you are done creating your animation uh, you will just go for a simple render you can also use adobe media encoder for that but if you don't have that you can simply press ctrl m which is the render queue section and inside if you are using the latest version of adobe which is 2023 i think this setting is also available in uh, 2022 so uh, you can simply click the output module and you will select this format which is the h.264 this is the best format to get mp4 videos remember whenever you are creating anything for website it should be optimized for the website what optimized means is there are other sorts of videos as well there are other sorts of gifs as well but if they are not well optimized for website, they will be problematic. Uh, they can take up more time to load or they can be jittery. So lots of problems can arise. So uh, we have selected this H.264 we will create. Uh, we'll press OK and we're gonna 
choose a destination folder and then we'll press render and the video is gonna render soon now this is an mp4 video so the next step is to convert this mp4 video into a web optimized gif animation we'll open up photoshop here and uh, we'll drag this video into photoshop and into a new project actually now since this is a video file photoshop has already created a timeline at the bottom as you can see here we will actually define the length of the video for our behance project so i don't need it to the full length i will leave it here what i'm gonna do here is i will go to files export and save for web legacy now inside photoshop and also many other softwares of adobe there are different types of exporting options but wherever you read this word save for web this is only dedicated for saving any media files optimized for websites we will go into save for web legacy we will keep this on gif now it's going to take some time to load the whole preview so our preview is loaded you can remember these settings we're not going to touch any one of these the colors are fine the selective this all of these things are fine uh, and we can also check this looping options which is preferable if we keep it at forever uh, because if we keep it at once it will only play for one time and then it will not replay so forever is good here uh, and then we will go simply to save for this video i'm gonna keep it in my videos folder and then i will press save so it's gonna save my video in a little while now finally our video is saved we can go into our folder where we fetched our original video and photoshop has created a new folder with the name images and inside this folder you will find your gif the web optimized gif that we were talking about so we can uh, take a preview it's uh, loaded up simply as a video as you, we can see and we have the animation intact and in the best resolution possible now this is the web optimized gif that is suitable for behance project and uh, you might have seen lots of animations on behance projects we can go into our behance project and uh, we, we can go edit our project and go wherever you want it to be placed for example if i want to place it here I will click this images button and I will go to my folder and I will press GIF. It's gonna take some time to upload depending upon your internet speed and after it is done we can save it. Now after it is done uploading you can go to take a look at it and uh, it's time for test and tada our GIF animation is successfully uploaded on our Behance project. So if you like this video you can comment below and also share it with your friends. Thank you.